After connecting the power cord, switch on the instrument by hitting this power key. You can see this power LED as well as uh, two other LEDs gone up. It shows it is getting powered on. After power on, this will be the landing page and the screen will look like this. So this is the passive pro which comes along with the instrument. A four number of passive pro will come along with four number oscilloscope whereas uh, two channel scope will come with uh, two number of passive probe so the, the passive probe package will look like this here you can see this is the passive probe and this is the uh, compensation adjustable screwdriver and a few other accessories I take out the passive probe and this is the bnc end you can see so the bnc uh, uh, end we have to connect it to any one of the channel so i am going to connect it in channel one There will be a groove just insert the bnc into the groove and uh, clock, uh, rotate it clockwise to uh, fix the connection so this is the other end of the probe and uh, to make the connection you have to push it downward this one there's a spring action you can push it downwards a hook will come so as you can see there is a square wave output provided uh, from the instrument this is the port You can see right the right side corner so on the upper part you can connect this hook type maybe i will zoom it bit this is that connection you can connect the upper portion this center conductor and the ground part using this crocodile clip Yeah, it is connected now. After connecting the signal, you can use this auto set, which is just above this default uh, key, auto setup. Click on auto setup and it will ask for a confirmation. Give a continue confirmation. Now you can see the signal is getting, you know, into the oscilloscope after acquisition. So uh, you can see that, you know, there is a small slight uh, upward curve, which is because of the compensation issue and we can compensate that part using the screwdriver which is provided along with the probe accessories so you can see this black one this is the accessory for adjusting the compensation just uh, take out this screwdriver uh, insert the screwdriver into that uh, hole and make a precise small movement clockwise or anti-clockwise and you can as you can see it is now compensated yeah the edges are compensated now it is good to go with the uh, signal cap after connecting any uh, input signal uh, please select please use this auto set key to uh, show the uh, signal with the appropriate uh, volt per division and time per division because the instrument will sample a portion of the input signal and it will select appropriate output per division and time per division so give the confirmation and by hitting the continue and yes now you can see uh, the square wave in a beautiful way uh, after acquisition the next interesting topic will be measurements of the signal for that there is a dedicated key here you can see This is a measure key, just hit on measure. The new window will come and you can see some default measurements like peak to peak, uh, then top, base, amplitude, then uh, rise time, fall time period, all those things will be there. Uh, to select the desired uh, input parameter to be measured, what you can do is like uh, make a clear function. So it will uh, remove all the a preset uh, measurement parameters then you can choose by hitting on type type then horizontal you can select frequency or other parameters also like uh, rise time uh, fall time uh, anyway rise time also i have selected now go to vertical again uh, you can select peak to peak then uh, rms value like that so now i have selected uh, four parameters here uh, you can say frequency, rise time, peak to peak and RMS. It is listed here. 
so frequency is keep, uh, keep updated according to the uh, change in input parameter and the uh, rise time yeah proportional update is there so this is how you can make the measurement so first you connect the uh, input to the end one of the channel then uh, do auto set setup then go to measurement and you the, uh, do the measurement so uh, measurements now we are making it on channel one now suppose if i have two channels for example uh, channel two also i have a signal so for that i have to change the settings or you know the parameter for channel two to configure that what we can do is like uh, for that actually i am turning on channel two you can see it's in pink color when new trace has come uh, for that actually uh, you turn on the instrument connect the uh, signal then go to again measure then source you can see right source instead of channel one you make it channel two now you can again go for type and it will be selected the parameters uh, uh, corresponding to channel two for example i am turning on you know threshold peak to peak and uh, difference between maximum yeah anyway it shows you what what is meant by that parameter right then again go to horizontal then frequency now i can see rise time as well as rms which i selected in pink color itself so it will be easy for you to identify uh, the parameter which belongs to uh, a separate channel for example here it is channel 2 so uh, likewise you can do that first you connect the signals then go to auto setup then acquire the signal first then go to measure in the measure you have the configure window then first you clear all the preset measurement then select the source channel 1 channel 2 or channel 3 or channel 4 then you can go to type where you will have all the parameters pre-listed which you can use so this is how you can make a measurement uh, apart from the automated measurements which uh, already you know uh, gives you uh, the parameters in a ready-made format sometimes you may be interested to, to do a manual measurement using cursors for that there is a separate key called cursors just below the measurement when you hit on cursors two uh, you know uh, bars will come this is actually the uh, horizontal bars if you want to change it to vertical go to cursor menu here you can see uh, just before the measurement cursor and here you can see uh, you know the options are there uh, horizontal vertical or both horizontal and vertical so uh, in this case I'm, i will just show you how to uh, make the uh, horizontal uh, bar movement and how to make the measurement so uh, this is the key Uh, there will be an indication wherever this uh, 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 knob is selected then this indication will come so now this is in act active mode so use this you can see one bar is moving then you fix it on the uh, you know uh, uh, portion of your interest on the screen and select the next uh, cursor by giving a simple push then next bar will be activated then move it accordingly and uh, there is a you know uh, reading tab in between you can see where it will show the uh, where it shows the delta value between the two bars now in this case it is 995 microsecond or uh, 1 kilohertz something like that so in this way also uh, uh, you know you can make measurement normally some rise time measurements or you know identifying a glitch in a uh, particular signal probably you can use this uh, uh, cursor method to identify now we will change into vertical again the same method use this knob and place it down here and then give a simple push the upper will also now enabled yeah and you can see the delta between the two 293 millivolt something like that yeah you can you even you know uh, uh, move the cursors uh, together in a locked way you can see like this so for first push it will enable one cursor second push another cursor third push it will lock between the cursors it, this will, will will also be a useful feature when you uh, make a particular measurement and uh, yeah at some point of time it will definitely will be useful now i will just show you what is the significance of a uh, triggering uh, in the digital storage oscilloscope 
uh, now you are seeing that the wave is running uh, uh, without you know uh, freezing to a particular point why because now the signal is not triggered uh, in in digital storage oscilloscope we can give edge triggering as well as level triggering okay now you can see one 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 yellow bar is moving when i make a upward and downward movement using this this key rotary knob now it is triggered right so now we uh, told the oscilloscope that you you take any signal which is having an amplitude up to this white level right in this case there is no signal which is meeting the threshold level of that particular level so that's why it's continuously running the moment i uh, turn it to uh, the signal level now the scope identified that there is a signal which meets this requirement and it triggered again here you can see one trigger menu and you can see uh, you can set on which channel you want uh, since i have connected uh, channel 1 here i have uh, uh, by default it will come channel 1 if i want to trigger a signal on of, of uh, uh, in channel 2 i can select channel 2 now i can again give the uh, sub settings like uh, slope like uh, this is the trigger point you can see you know on down triangle this is the trigger point yeah this one blue so now it is the triggering on rising edge so if i want to make it on falling edge simply i select falling now you can see it is triggering on falling edge and this is the trigger level as i told so once the uh, uh, signal appears having this much amplitude level and having a falling edge then it will trigger immediately so triggering is a uh, important parameter to look at when you uh, 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 acquire a unknown signal because some a modulated signal will have you know different uh, up and downs uh, and uh, sometimes it may not be able to uh, see it in a, a frozen way so there you can change this uh, uh, trigger uh, parameters and it will help you to uh, see it in a, uh, uh, a decent way uh, now we have one more feature in this this instrument it's called a wave gen feature wave gen is nothing but inbuilt function generator so that will help you to simulate the uh, device your own device with a signal from the instrument itself you need not to depend upon any other uh, function generator so to to have a control and access of this wave, wave gen there is a dedicated key here you can see awg i think you can see this awg just hit on awg and you can select the wave type here uh, you can see sine square ramp pulse noise dc on orbitary orbitary feature is a very beautiful feature which normally found in high end function generators uh, that will help you to create your own waveform and simulate so these are standard waveforms orbitary is a customized waveform creation feature so if i do sine wave then next uh, parameter will be frequency and there i can give you know frequency range so i if i set one mega m then it will be one mega ohm then amplitude for volt to peak to peak like that now i just need to hit turn on now it is turned on so since i do not have a uh, 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 bnc to bnc cable with me right now i am going to show it's i am not i will not recommend anyone to use this yeah so i have just you know connected the signal with the uh, probe tape on the center conductor and it got some signal now i just need to yeah modify it like this okay because it was not a, a, sm a smooth acquisition right so that's why it shows something like this now if i increase the scale i will be able to see this so inbuilt function generator feature is also there in this particular instrument so after doing all those uh, settings and you know sub settings at any point of time if you feel like you have got stuck up at some menu don't worry there is a dedicated key called default you can be below auto setup you can see setup default just hit on that it will ask for confirmation we give it again the instrument will come back to the uh, power on state so you know it will erase all those sub settings and it will again come back so uh, again i will repeat uh, connect the instrument uh, before starting uh, the measurement you uh, connect it to the you know probe compensation do the probe compensation then connect the signal 
whatever signal you connect then hit auto set yes give continue confirmation you can give and then go to measure and select the measurement so we have explained the measurements then cursor then what is trigger menu like that hope this video is very useful for you please get in touch with us for any uh, uh, further uh, information thank you